So when I started the series, I mentioned zombies. Um, and I feel like I kind of owe it to you to explain what I meant. So basically, we have a, a history as a species of inventing monsters that provide some insight into what our societies are anxious about. So for example, uh, well the two famous examples are Dracula and Frankenstein's monster. Um, the former being a response to the Victorian, to Victorian England's um, intense sexual repression and the latter being a response to societal fears about the unknown of science and technology. And we've had very few people asking questions about what zombies represent. And those people have come up with some very interesting theories. So I'm going to share mine. Um, in a nutshell, the concept of a zombie as was reinvented in Night of the Living Dead, um, came about at the same time, around the same time that we were beginning as a society, or as, as Western academia, to understand narratives and ideology and just how much power those things have over us. And I believe that a zombie is a very good proxy for somebody who has succumbed to an ideology and needs to both defend that ideology um, and to aggressively impart that ideology on other people. Now, the interesting thing about a zombie is that you, you, it's very hard to distinguish a zombie, or at least a fresh one, um, it's very it's very difficult to distinguish a zombie from a from a live, healthy human. Um, and zombies go for the brain, and I feel that that all ties into what we're seeing now, which is this global flailing about um, in trying to establish ideologies that don't really fit. They're adopted uh, artificial ideologies that don't really fit with the core values that Westerners have been raised with. And I think that this is a very long ideological war that's been going on and we need to understand what that means if we're to have any chance of dealing with it in the coherent manner.